from Peter Jackson, the visionary director of Lord of the Rings, comes a film 10 years in the making because he shunted it off to his storyboard and effects guy to make The Hobbit. Well, that's one more thing I can blame on The Hobbit movies. Mortal Engines Welcome to a post-apocalypse Earth, a world that still seems pretty okay looking. Nevertheless, humanity is forced to fight over limited resources by using tons of resources to live on massive mobile cities that devour smaller mobile cities in a harrowing game of hungry, hungry hippos. Except for the humans that live in sky cities or in mobile home parks or in just normal cities, which will make you wonder why parts of humanity have decided to live on massive mobile cities that consume smaller mobile cities in a harrowing game of hungry, hungry hippos. Well, that's what happens when the Earth's crust gets shattered into a thousand pieces. Is it though? When the world is threatened by an ancient weapon, the only thing standing in its way are these extremely attractive people, and these extremely attractive people, and also these extremely attractive people, whose names you won't remember, except for Hester, because her undead cyborg dad won't stop shouting it. Hester! 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 Together, they'll take on professional bad person Hugo Weaving in a special effects filled race. W wait, did I just say undead cyborg dad? <laughs> he even narrates the intro. The age of the great predator cities. This movie is ridiculous. Gear up for a visual feast of incredible art design and intricate detailed concepts, then choke on an entire series worth of these things, all crammed into one movie. You're just a skivvy from the lower tiers. If those dim-witted spanner heads beat you to the bins again, you'll be back to cleaning the bogs. What the hell are Southies? Scavs. They're the Ru Shan, the anti-traction league of Shan Kuo. Nothing can stand in the face of this. Not the battle hammers of Archangel, not the howitzers of Panzerstadt. Not even the guns of the anti-tractionists! As it rushes past all the cool stuff you'll actually want to see and explore, so that it can just do Star Wars. Uh, what you guys are missing is the father reveal. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Your mother never told you. You already knew. Yep, really set myself up for that one. So put on your fanciest waistcoat and top that off with your most ridiculous hat for an ambitious project that made sure to do every dystopian earth trope, all of the steampunk things, and as much social commentary as possible. We're about to lose our American deities. It may very well be they forgot how to read and write altogether. But forgot to tell a story you can follow with characters you actually care about, so you probably forgot to see it. Aw oh, man, now we're never gonna find out if the Shanguanese, Anti-Tractionist, and Municipal Darmus can coexist, or what any of those words even mean. Starring Hermione Danger. Do you wanna know how I got these scars? Glower of London, Sky Captain, and the World of Taekwondo. Previously on The Walking Dead, London crawling, people falling. <laughs> People falling. People falling. And these actual names from the movie. Thaddeus Valentine. Bevis. Bevis Pod. Herbert Melephant. Uh, please, sir. Uh, Beauregard Pennyroyal was my father's name. Uh, call me Nimrod. <laughs> Why is everyone in the post-apocalypse so dang pretty? Where are my pasty subterranean incest cannon fodder at? Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! 
click the boxes to check out our show's panel to screen Infinity War and the evolution of the Hulk. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I'm a little teacup. Your instant ramen is ready. What would you do for a Klondike bar?